Hello everyone, S Exclusive here, and today I'm here to do an inbox review, opening and out of box review of this Barbie Fashionistas numbers 127. With the recent news going on in this world, it's understandable that I haven't been making a lot of doll related videos because I've been practicing social distancing and quarantining, washing my hands, wearing a mask if I'm going out, and limiting myself to just going outside. There was an occasion, which was like two days ago, where me and my brother went to Walmart because we had to buy more shampoo because we were running low on it. And I decided to see what dolls they had in the doll section. So how I got this girl was that I was just walking down the Barbie aisle and I saw this one lone fashionista doll that was completely trashed. Like her box was damaged, her plastic covering was not there, her shoes were stolen. And I was hoping to actually buy that certain doll, which I'll show you guys right here. It's already self-explanatory from the post, but yeah, she was like $7.94, which I was like, are you kidding me? I would have snatched her if she was like, like $5, $4, $3, $2, anywhere but $7.94. So I was like, no, I'm not going to take you home. I'm sorry, dear. Even though you are so devastating looking, it's just not worth it. And so I just continued to on down the aisle and I saw one of the end caps that had Barbie dolls that were all like, you know, the cheap swimsuit molded on dolls and fashion packs and all the other places that I didn't really care about. And I saw this lone fashionista doll right there. And I was kind of curious on what her price was. She ranged up to be $2 and I was like, oh my gosh, $2? That's a steal! And I threw her in my cart, purchased her, and here she is. And surprisingly, she wasn't like the doll that was on my radar because I wasn't too, like, you know, excited for her. But at $2, she is definitely worth it. Like, all my money and everything. So I'm really happy to have her. So, yeah, that's basically it. And now let's get on to the inbox review. And then we're going to open her up. And then we're going to review the doll entirely. So I'm really excited about that. Before we begin, there are some damages to her box that I noticed. Like, right here, it's completely crushed. And there is a little tear, like, right here. And the back side is a little smushed, in a way, if you can tell, because I do see the crease line right here. I, I don't think you guys can see it, but it's, there, it's visible. Like, I can see the crease line. But the doll is still intact, and she's still in good condition, so that's a relief there. Starting with the backing of the box, we have the logo, the geometric design. Her number right here, which is numbers 127. Then down here we have Barbie Fashionistas, ages three and up, warning choking hazard. And we also have the artwork of Barbie and her friends. And surprisingly, this artwork is the girl with the prosthetic leg. And I would have liked it if there was an artwork of her, but I'm not too picky about that. And then we have the Barbie icon imprinted on the packaging of the box. And on the back side, we have all the dolls from this wave. And of course, we have all this junk that we don't give two craps about. So yeah, that's basically the inbox review. And now it's time to get her out of the box. I'm really excited about that. Woohoo! out of the box and she is absolutely gorgeous like at first when I saw her I wasn't too crazy for her like I wasn't like in love with her face nor her outfit but I did love her shoes no doubt about it but now that I have her she's absolutely divine like I love her to the moon and back and I know for sure she'll look amazing in different clothes as well because of how versatile her face is and it's been so long since I actually opened a doll. So opening the doll was very exciting. And the reason why was because I've been deprived of doll shopping, you guys. Mostly because throughout the two months, I've been at home finishing up my spring semester of my classes because um, classes were moved online. So everything was like thrown at us at like no end. Like there was like presentations here, PowerPoints, group projects exams, tests, it's like I was completely burnt out. So this doll is kind of like a reward doll for me and I love it. So before we get into like the doll review, I do 
want to show you guys the backing of her box because I know for sure that every fashionista dolls from this wave had like an inspirational saying on the back of their box. So her says, your unique ideas will change the world, which I love very much. And so th that's all I wanted to really show you guys about the box. And now it's time to get into the doll review, which I'm very excited about. So a quick overview of numbers 127. Starting with her hair, she has jet black hair that stops right above her waistline. And yeah, it's definitely like box hair, so she'll definitely need some shampooing and conditioning to fix that, so no problem at all. And here is her face. Her eyebrows are brown, and she has brown eyes with a bit of like reddish, orangish, let me see. It's kind of like reddish, orangish like eyeshadow all around her eyes. And she also has nude peach lips. And face mold wise, I'm not too sure which face mold this is, but mm, it's from 1998. Hmm, I'm not too sure. But yeah, lovely face, no doubt about it. And for her body type, she has the curvy body type with five horn articulations at the neck, the arms, and the hips. And for her questionable outfit, she has on this purple t-shirt dress with a green sleeve on one side and a pink sleeve on the other. And she also has this yellow neckline that goes all the way around. And on the front of her shirt, it says Unicorn Believer in metallic shimmery blue. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of her outfit because it just kind of screams really like childish in a way with like the two different colored sleeves and the way it was executed, it's just not the best. Like, I don't really like the green, yellow, and pink accents that's like plastered on here. So I will be trying to modify it and turn it into like maybe a tank top for my other doll to wear because I just don't really like it. And um, I do have an outfit planned for her that will make her stand out, especially with how sharp her eye makeup is. Like, I love her makeup. Oh, and she's also shining right here. Else. <laughs> Sorry about that, but anyways, yeah, the outfit, not the best, not my favorite, so I will be modifying it. But the shoes, though, I do love the boots. These are white ankle gogo boots, and they look absolutely divine. And for accessories, the only accessories that she came with were these heart-shaped glasses that are that has a blue like frame, and it's sat perched on her head, which I do have to remove the tea tie right here. But other than that, that is everything that she came with. So in the end, that is the doll review of numbers 127 and I love her so much. And it's so funny because before I used to not like her, but now I love her. So yes. Anyways, that's it for this video. And of course, thank you guys so much for watching and also thank you for sticking around and also waiting patiently for me to upload new videos, especially with like this, what's going on in this world and yeah. So anyways, that's it for this review and also thank you guys for watching and more videos will be up soon if I ever get new dolls, especially during what's going on in this world, like the pandemic and all that. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching and goodbye.